Global sensation RBD, a Latin pop band that took the world by storm back in the 2000s, are now marking a new era with a sold-out reunion tour. One of the most successful Latin pop groups of all time talks about their rise to fame and their remarkable return to the fans. ABC's Alex Perez with more. Tras de Mi is a hit song from the Mexican Latin pop group RBD, which translates to the letters RBD, now on tour here in the U.S. with their much-anticipated reunion tour, Soy Rebelde. We never thought that this was going to be as big as it is. With our second date in the Madison Square Garden, it sold out. RBD is like when Backstreet Boys and NSYNC reunited. It represents an era. It represents a generation. RBD became an international sensation in the mid-2000s, selling over 15 million records, making them one of the best-selling Latin music groups of all time. Now they're back together for the first time in 15 years. I've been a fan since I was probably seven, six years old. It just became my whole thing for myself. I think I'm a fan, an RBD fan, since I was 10 in Brazil, and I was singing all the songs, and now I'm 28, so 18 years. We caught up with two of the pop group's biggest stars, Cristian Chavez and Maite Perroni, to hear about the thrill of being back on tour. We are on stage. We can feel every single person singing our song. It's like the soundtrack of your life. Yeah. It's like remembering your childhood, your friends, your boyfriend, all that things you already lived, but they are in your heart. One of their biggest reunion hits is Cerquita de Ti, a song about a long-time connection that perfectly encapsulates the nostalgia ahead of their long-awaited reunion tour. <laughs> RBD first got its start in 2004 on Televisa's hit Mexican telenovela Rebelde. A group played high schoolers who formed the band. And then later, they became a band in real life. We were part of a TV show, and the group jumped from the TV show to real life. We broke all the records, and we did amazing things that we can't even dream, right? It was like we were on a TV show, we were singing, and we were dancing, and suddenly we were on mainstream. RBD's first breakout song in 2004, Rebelde, became an anthem for an entire generation of Latinos around the world. Public at that time and it was huge. They were everywhere from Barbies to school things. I remember having all their CDs. I would save up money. It was a huge thing. RBD over the years attracting a cult-like following, inspiring the next generation of Latin artists. Their hit song, Salvame. Even covered by Puerto Rican reggaeton star Bad Bunny in a now viral TikTok video. Salvame del olvido, salvame de la soledad. RBD is now one of many acts driving an all-new Latin music revolution. From superstar Bad Bunny to Becky G to J Balvin. Latin and Spanish language music is experiencing unprecedented heights of mainstream popularity here in the U.S. and globally. We do believe that right now is the Latino moment. Language definitely matters less now. I think people are looking for a feeling, an energy, a vibe. Hablar Español, it's hot. Right now, like, talking Spanish and knowing certain words in Spanish, they're hot. Latin music and culture has created its own space. The numbers speak for itself. I mean, Carol G is out there performing right now. Bad Bunny, the number one artist last year. And it's a <laughs> renaissance of Latin pop, but we love to be part of this. Today, RBD is reaching new fans around the world through streaming platforms that were just beginning to take off in the 2000s.
Streaming changed the Latin music because now you have different ways of putting your music out there. There's no gatekeepers. It's the music, it's the artist, and it's the fan. Before it was really the record labels and you had to have radio support, but now it's a new way of working. Streaming now enabling nostalgia groups like RBD to reach all new audiences around the world. We were impressed because when the songs went into the platform, I remember being in the top 50. It was Rebelde, Rebelde, Rebelde. There's so many Latino artists that are in the charts and they're so powerful around the world that we feel so humble and happy to be part of this movement. Latin music is a culture and not a genre. We are mainstream and we're here to stay. Of course, we feel very proud of what Mexican artists can do around the world. We know we are a very powerful community. Latin music is power, is rhythm, and is flavor. Latin music is life, is strength, and it's fun. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.